Hello students once again welcome to Bhulanath Academy in this video students we are going to see the chapter that is called as carbovirins now students in that we are going to see what are the carbovirins how they are classified and we are going to see the properties and the preparations now students it is very important what is carbovirins it is coming for in examinations so students this way you have to start the answers the carbovirins are the compound of carbon boron hydrogen in which carbon and boron occupy the vertices of polyhedron they are assumed to be derived from the boranes by replacing some bh unit by carbon hydrogen unit that is boron hydrogen unit you are replacing with carbon hydrogen unit this now we are going to see the examples first example is closo 15 c2b3h5 now here students this is 15 that is stands for carbon position of the carbon 1 and this is the 5 position students 1 5 1 and 5 c2b 3h5 that is fifth position first position and fifth position will be the carbon atom and these two three and four position will be the boron atoms understanding this is the possible structure of closo 15 c2b 3h5 compound understanding students now second example students when you see that is two carba two carba nido hexaborans that means at the carbon number 2 there will be the carbon at the carbon position number 2 there will be carbon and this is what nido hexaborans here we are talking about nido hexaborans c students c b5 h9 this is the example at the position second there will be the carbon here will be the carbon understand students so this is the structure students so we have only one carbon and there will be five boron atoms okay students and there will be total nine hydrogen so this is the structure of two carba nido hexaborans it is called as now students one, one more structure we are going to see that is called as 2 3 di carba nido hexaborans di carba means two carbon and b4 h8 four boron and eight hydrogen now at carbon number 2 and 3 at the in this structure students position 2 and 3 will containing carbon and other you have what boron atoms understanding students so structure that is why it is called as 2 3 2 3 di carba nido hexaborans so this is the structure of nido carboborans students now students we are going to see one more type of compound that is called as 2 3 4 at position number 2 3 4 there will be the three carbon students that is why it is called as tri carba nido hexaborans understanding students total number of 3 plus 3 will be what hexaborans understanding so do 2 3 4 tri carba nido hexaborans at the position 2 3 4 2 3 you have carbon atom carbon atom okay students and other way you have what boron understanding that is why it is called as what 2 3 4 tricarba nido hexaborans c3 b3 s7 understanding students one more structure we are going to see that is called as students 2 3 4 5 tetracarba nido hexaborans so there will be four carbon two boron and six hydrogen it, it is called as c4 b2 s6 understanding students so at position 2 3 4 and 5 you will have carbon atom and one and six will carry boron atom understanding that is why it is called as what 2 3 4 5 tetra carba nido hexaborans so this is the structure students these are very important structures now we are going to see the general formula students will be like this carbon hydrogen a b boron hydrogen m hydrogen b and having power c raised to minus here a student denote carbon hydrogen unit and m shows boron hydrogen unit at the polyhedral vertices and here students b b denote hydrogen atom which are either bridging or indo type of hydrogen that is tangential to the surface of polyhedron as distinct from the axial hydrogen atom specified in carbon hydrogen and boron hydrogen groups understand these are this hydrogen is different from these two hydrogen carboborans are divided into three groups first is students called as closo closo carboborans these structures have n plus 1 pairs of skeleton bonding of electron that is when you add a plus b plus c is equals to what two electrons understanding students example here we can carbon 2 b4 s6 which is corresponds to b6 s6 2 minus understanding students now we are going to see students nido carbovirans nido carbovirans this structures have n plus 2 pairs of skeleton bonding that is electron here students when you see a plus b plus c equals to four electron that mean the formula will be c2 boron 4 the here it is what boron b4 h8 boron m hydrogen n raised to 4 minus so here this is very important students 4 minus understanding arachno sometimes we call as what arachno arachno carboborans these structures have n plus 3 pairs of skeleton bonding of electron that is a plus b plus c equals to 
that means it has got power 6 minus understanding boron hydrogen is to 6 minus. now students some of the cases what happens students if a becoming 0 the compound is boron anion rather than carboborans if a becomes 0 students we called as what anions understanding rather than carboborans now what happens students if b equals to 0 in second case there are no bridging hydrogen and hydrogen indo this is the case for all closo carboborans except for unique octahedral monocarboborans you have one carbon b boron 5 h7 which has the triply bridging h4 over boron 3 faces of the octahedron now what happens students if c equals to 0 this compound is neutral carbovalent the compound we call as what neutral molecules rather than anions understanding when c equals to 0 the compound is called as what neutral carbovalent molecules rather than anions now students how we are going to prepare students the first preparation is the close so that is carbon 2 boron n h plus n plus 2 species are generally prepared by reaction of acetylene this is the study acetylene students carbon carbon triple bond here the alkyl group here hydrogen here both the valence is occupied by alkyl group that is also called a type of acetylene with a boron either thermally or in electric discharge now this is the boron students boron in presence of acetylene at 200 degrees celsius it is forming 1 5 carbon 2 boron 3 h5 plus 1 6 carbon 2 b4 s6 and it may form 2 4 c2 b5 s7 now what happens students b10 h4 in presence of ethylene sulfide it will eliminate hydrogen gas and it will form b10 h12 s et ethylene disulfide now in presence of acetylene students it will eliminate ethylene disulfide ethyl disulfide what happens students it will form the this type of compound under mild conditions students nido carboborans can be also obtained now what happens students this nido boron in presence of acetylene at 200 degrees students you are getting nido 2 3 c 2 b 4 s 10 type of compound a co common route to monocarboborans by pyrolysis of methyl boron. This is the methyl boron instruments at 500 to 600 degrees Celsius. You are getting 1,5C2B3H5 plus. You are getting close to nido and, and a methyl type of nido compounds. Understand? These are the preparation instruments. Now, instruments, we are going to see the some properties. Nido and arachno. Arachno carboborans are less stable thermally than the corresponding close to borens compound they are less stable to aerial oxidation and other the reaction because they are more open structure and the presence of labile hydrogen in the open faces understanding students they are very less stable they are combining with the oxygen of the air now what happens students it is also forming the complex formation nido and arachno anions can form metal complexes with the transition metals now students the action of a strong base will not only generate anions such as it is forming the it will generate the anions one carbon b5 or six from one carbon B5S7, but strong base can remove the boron atom from the framework to generate anions. Understanding students, nido anions obtained by the action of a strong base on 1217 isomers of carbon 2 boron 10H12 are the capable of coordinating to the metal items such as cyclopentadiene ions. This is cyclopenta are commonly called as dicarbolide ions. The solution of these ions react with the ferric chloride FeCl2. In presence of THF to form the iron 2 plus bis dicarbolide complexes. This is the complex it is forming. Understanding students, this complex is isoelectronic with the ferrocene and it is too readily undergoes a one electron oxidation. Here students, one electron oxidation. This is the sodium cyclopentadiene and di dicarbolide anions mix sandwich compound is obtained. This is the sandwich type of compound we are getting. Understanding students, so this is the iron students, this is cyclopentadiene, this is the Carbovalence and it is forming what sandwich like structure. Many mixed species, including complexes of various other metals, are also there. Here, molybdenum complex is there with the, with the car, uh, carbovalence and the carbonate ions. Here, the cobalt students, it is forming the sandwich structure with these carbovalence and the cyclopentadiene ring. So, these are the very important properties of the carbovalence students. These are very important for the examination point of view. If you like my video, please share it, subscribe it. Thank you, thank you very much. Have a nice day. God bless you.